And welcome to the highlights of this important Super 6 game from Johannesburg between India and Sri Lanka. Now, if we look at the points table so far, Australia are number one with uh, 16 points in total. India number two with 12. Kenya still on 10. New Zealand on eight. Sri Lanka seven and a half. And Zimbabwe 3.5. Top, top four qualify for the semi finals. Now, if you look at the teams that have been selected for today, India are unchanged. They're playing seven batsmen again, so unchanged from their previous game. Sri Lanka have made two changes. Tilakratna out, and Murabrak is in for his first game in the World Cup, and Gunaratna also out, and Asanka back in for his fourth match. Sri Lanka won the toss and surprisingly elected to bowl. Let's pick up the action with our first two commentators of the day, Ravi Shastri and Tony Gregg. This is uh, always a pleasure. We have Sewag and Tendulkar opening the batting out there for India. Two of the best and most aggressive batsmen of all time. Uh, Ravi, it's always fun sitting up in the commentary box when they're out there. Yes, you can't miss a minute because if you just leave the commentator's box and get away for five minutes to get into the loo, there could be 20 runs scored. So you don't know what you're missing out on. And it was nice to read a quote this morning in the papers where Saurav Ganguly said, watch out for Virendra Seva. He may not have got runs in this tournament, but uh, he's a very, very dangerous player. As far as Sachin Tendulkar goes, he's had an outstanding tournament. So far, the leading run getter. But this is a key match. Both these teams, they know each other very well. They played a lot of cricket against each other. Seva, the man on strike. Oh, what a shot. He's blitzed that one through the offside field. It was over-pitched and Sewag has just lent into it, caressed it through the offside. Have a look at that. Oh boy. You can't hit him much harder than that. He's waited for it. He also looks like he's got plenty of time and it's whistled straight over the top of the boundary rope. Unbelievable shot. Third man uh, just off the boundary down there. He needs to go back a little bit, I reckon. Oh, that's well played. That's beautifully played. Sachin Tendulkar playing from the crease. Has hit that through the covers for four. A little bit too straight, nicely played. This will go for four. This is fast. fast. Chaminda Vast just can't get there. Oh no, he's missed it. It's gone for four. He's pitched that one up and Ten Dorker has hit it back at him like a rocket. Well played, beautifully played. That's that whip on the onside to the straight delivery for four. All the way along the ground that time. I don't think he's going to get caught at backward square leg today. That's a good shot. He's got a lot of bat on it. Very fast outfield. Frustration for the bowler. It's almost the quicker you bowl, the faster it goes to the boundary. Come on. And now the no ball's called and it's gone for six. Seen this cut shot played a few times now by both these players. This time it's Tendulkar and it's gone 15 rows back. That's full squeezed. Third man left to uh, do some work. Can't get there. Aravin Lassau, we know, is not the quickest bloke on two legs these days. Four runs. That's away. That's going to go uh, not to the fence. He's going to be able to pick up. Oh, yes, it is to the fence. Goodness me, that is very, very sloppy. That brings Tendulkar to his 50. He'll take a bonus run there to go to that 50. Nasenka was the man who should have stopped it. He was leaping around in front of the scoreboard and uh, couldn't quite get there. That really was poor cricket, and that brings up Sachin Tendulkar's half century. Oh, well played. Oh, beautifully played. Tendulkar has hit that one back, back straight. About two again, yes, and uh, Mubarak picks up. Well, that brings up uh, the half century now for Varunda Sewag. So, um, his top score prior to this innings was 36. This will be a bit of a relief to him. And it's going away to the boundary for four. In fact, it's got to the fence. I think it just made it. He got right into that one. I was just wondering. What was going to give? Murali bowls a tight over down the other end. Oh, down the wicket he goes again. Inside out he goes. This is going to be caught. No, he's not at six again. Holy dooly. He timed that absolutely magnificently.
And down on the boundary, Delata Fernando, I think, thought he was going to catch him. It just kept going and going. Well, that's in the air. This is going to be caught. Oh, he's done it once too often. Yes, he's gone. Well, I think Tenduka was right down the other end. He'd be a little upset. He's been trying to nurse Sawag through this. And uh, Sawag is hanging his head there. He couldn't resist the temptation to hit sixes. And unfortunately, it's now cost him his innings. Well, Tenduka has got his hand on his hips. He's not happy with the shot selection. But then you're talking about a master off spinner who induces that big shot. It's the top spinner that doesn't go with the turn for the shot and then get anywhere close to the middle of the bat Arvinda De Silva taking a good catch in the deep so the attacking instincts getting the better of Sehwag on that occasion but a good contribution 66 and the Indians score 153 for one He's on the outside edge and a run away for four so Dilhara having a bit of bad luck here Oh, take a piece of that. How outrageous. Now that is a magnificent shot. One just got the feeling that Ganguly expected this one. He was in position just as the ball left the bowler's hand. And it's come out right out of the meat of the bat. This is a magnificent strike for six. He's got that away. The sunk has been tested again. He's not going to get close this time, so uh, that's four runs. And these people that have come a long way, a lot of them, have come here to see this. Oh, it's in the air. It's an out. Sangakara thinks it is, and it is. Arizon, Aravind Lasova has picked up Sachin Tendulkar, looking to paddle it around the corner. Just hitting the edge of the bat in the simplest of catches to Kumar Sangakara. Why, oh why? That's the question. Such a wonderful player. Trying to play a smart alec little shot around the corner. He didn't go, mind you, but uh, I think he was probably out here. Let's have a look at it. This is such a silly shot to be playing in the circumstances. Up she goes. And a lollipop little catch to Sangakara. And uh, there goes a century begging. Well, that's a big disappointment to everyone here, and I'm sure he won't enjoy looking at the replay of that either. 214 for two. Mohamed Kaif is the next man in, 45 games, averaging 28.46, high score of 111. Not out, his strike rate's OK at uh, 75.4, but he's been struggling in this World Cup. 80 runs at only uh, 13. He's got that away pretty fine. The outfield is uh, not the quickest because of all the rain yesterday, but it is going to go for four. So that's a much needed boundary for India. They need to get this momentum up a little bit. There's a big one. That is a huge hit. He's hit that a long, long way. And on the grass in Bangbun for six. Fine blow from Sarav Ganguly. He's oh! him. Excellent, Yorker. Full and straight. And Bass doing the job he was asked for. That is a very, very important wicket. The Indian captain departs. And India have lost their third wicket. Oh, what a fine delivery by Chaminda Bass. Fuller length in the block hole. And uh, Savra Kongli playing all around it just to see that uh, off stump knocked off. The third wicket's down, 243. He's bowled in. Bass doing a terrific job here for the Sri Lankans. First Ganguly, now Yuvraj Singh. So two wickets in two overs for Chaminda Bass. Bass once again proving what accuracy could do. Just ensuring that the ball's straight. Yuvraj uh, not getting the big shots in. So a little bit of frustration and he goes for it. So he bounces off, leg stamp off. And um, Yuvraj goes, that's a big wicket again for Sri Lanka. Yuvraj sings out for five. India four down for 251. That's gone away fine. This will reach the boundary. Kev goes for the big one and finds the boundary. That's well played. Oh, he's bowled him around his leg. 
What a comeback by the off spinner. Struck for the boundary. Next ball takes the leg stump. Well, this is why Mutai Murlun is such a class act. Not much turn there, but uh, sufficient to get the leg stump through. Okay, we're looking to play it on the onside. Missing it completely. Just enough to get the pad and the stamps. Mohamed Kaif goes five down for 265. Inside out, over the top, and that's a good hit. Into the crowd as well. He picked the right ball, it was the off spinner, and he's hit it with the spin. That was very well struck. And again, this time he's not middled it. De Silva coming underneath it. And he's safe as houses. So another wicket here for Murlidharan. After being struck for a six, he's come back well. Yes, says Murlidharan, he's a crafty operator. Gave that ball a little bit more air. Held it back and uh, Munga just attempting a similar type of shot. Getting a lot more elevation than before. Right up in the air and you could see Arvind De Silva. He's got plenty of experience. Well balanced. Hands cupped upwards and safe as houses. So Dinesh Mongia goes 277 for six. Come on. Excellent placement. He waited on it nicely. And a welcome boundary here for the Indians. Inside out, it doesn't matter how it comes. <laughs> India will take that boundary. Here's the final delivery. Dravid goes for the big one, doesn't quite time it. They'll run two, so India end up with a score of 292 for six from their 50 overs. So a good total for India in the end, 292 for six after they're allotted 50 overs. After 30 overs, they were 167 for one. That was a great platform, and Sachin Tendulkar was outstanding. 97 of 120 balls, a good stand, opening stand with him and Vrinda Sawig, who picked up 66. Ganguly uh, in good form with 48, so overall they'll be pleased with that. And if you look at the Sri Lankan bowling, Chaminda Vas, again, he's been the form model of this tournament so far. 10 overs, 2 maidens, 2 for 34. Nasanka got some tap. Fernando also a little bit of tap. But Ty Murli Duran picked things back beautifully, picking up 3 for 46 off his 10. Santhi Jayasuri are expensive, and Aravinda doing a pretty good job, picking up 1 for 32. And Arnold also going at 6 and over. So the target for Sri Lanka, they need 293 runs. They've got 50 overs available, of course, and they've got to go at a required rate of 5.86. Sanat Jayasuriya just coming close to 300 matches. His strike rate is something that we've got to look for. The average not in the high 40s as it's with some of the Indian batsmen. And Mawa Natapattu has been in great touch, falling on from the form that he had down under in Australia. Close to 40 the average. Strike rate not the best, but his form, his touch in this tournament has been pleasing for Sri Lanka. a huge one first up wasn't the greatest of deliveries from Jabagal Srinath but Marvin Atapatu has smashed it into the covers Mohamed Kaif is the man who's taken a sharpie and they're one down Sri Lanka well we talked about Marvin Atapatu being the key batsman for Sri Lanka and he's walking back towards the pavilion and the celebration in the Indian camp understandable for that reason may not have come smack from the middle of the bat but it was traveling and getting low to Mohamed Kaif who is one of India's better fielders. So Srinath provides the breakthrough. What a breakthrough this is. Mavana Tupatu gone for a duck. And India 2 for 1. Or Sri Lanka 2 for 1. Another one. Jamagal Srinath has got another one. Sri Lanka in big trouble. Mumarak didn't last very long. Srinath is on the spot with this. The perfect line across the left hand. He's nicked it. And Rahul Dravid has done the rest. We all know he's a good bowler to left-hand batsman, Srinath. The Indian get into a ring of celebration, as they've done in this tournament. It's a good delivery. A tentative prod in the end, and it's purely because of the line that was bowled. Maybe he had a bit of a doubt at the last minute to leave it alone. Dravid taking a good catch for a non-regular keeper. Jahan Mubarak, another duck. The Sri Lankan batting lineup. They scored two for two. 
Now there's a big shot, he might get the finger this time, he does. Up goes the finger, Mahela J. Warden as nightmare continues. India are on fire today, they picked up three quick ones and Sri Lanka are in deep, deep trouble at three for three. And again, the delivery was spot on. There's the huddle again. And for India's uh, sake, it's coming very quickly, so that's a cause for celebration itself. Pitching on leg stump, and the height was okay, and I think may have gone on to hit the off stump. So that was a good decision by Simon Tofu. The height factor also was pretty good on that. So another duck, three in a row for Sri Lanka. Three for three. It's uh, very, very fine. That's running away. I think it was uh, leg buys. We'll have to just wait and see the confirmation from umpire Tofu. It was a little bit surprising. There wasn't uh, perhaps a bigger shout from maybe the men behind the stumps. Good shot. Back of the square on the offside. That's going to run away for four. That's well played. There's a big shot. That's pretty close. Up goes the finger. Another one. Another one down. India are outstanding at the moment here at the Wanderers. Javadol Srinath has struck. He's picked up uh, another one. And goodness me, this is disastrous for Sri Lanka. And what a bowling performance it is by the new ball bowlers for India. Srinath, now this is a delivery he's got to be proud of. Arvinda De Silva caught on the crease. He's a class act. He's a man in form. And it's again another great delivery with line and length. Let's have a look at this. Perfect length, good length. Batsman preferring to stay on the crease. And that was going on to hit middle and leg. And this is another biggie. They've got three biggies. So Arvinda De Silva gone. And the score 15 for four. Three for six. Srinath Scott. Single car on strike. And he's gone off the mark with a lovely shot, square on the offside for four. Well, that's well played. That was pitched on leg stump. Is it going to make it? I think so. Oh, he's, uh, that's hit something. Deflected away from the keeper. In fact, it hasn't. He's given four wides. That's got him. That's got him. He's trying to play a cut shot to a ball that wasn't wide enough. He's opened the face on it. He's hit it straight to cover. So they really are in trouble now. The man that could just feasibly have got them some respectability is out caught. Kai for getting to the action. Yes, Jasuria was looking for that shot outside the off stump, but again, um, not much room. That little bit of bottom hand coming in. The ball really not coming on to him. Kai for picking up the catch. So big wicket uh, for India. Jasuria goes and the fifth wicket's down for a mere 40. Now that should be four. The 50 comes up for Sri Lanka, albeit in streaky fashion. And a great shot through the covers. In the air and out. And Yuvraj Singh takes a comfortable catch, head high. And dear, oh dear, Sri Lanka lose their sixth. It was coming, and it's come sooner than later as far as the Indians are con concerned. We already saw one shot in this over that went in the air. We just got a feeling Sangakara was lucky on that occasion, not this time. He's found the safe hands of Yuvrat Singh. And uh, Sri Lanka at the moment teetering on the brink, 59 for 6. That's a good shot. That's a good shot for a man who bats down the order. Oh, that's a pumping shot through the offside. And Russell Arnold standing up tall and heading on the up. Oh, there's a big shout. Up goes the finger as well. That was dead in front, Zahir Khan. He's been bowling very, very good pace. He's been bowling nice and straight as well. And Russell Arnold this time is the man that goes back to the pavilion. And Sri Lanka are in huge trouble here. And a huge game for them as well. Well, Zahir Khan started celebrating for a leg before decision without seeing the umpire's reaction. 
that's how plum it was and this is a good wicket again another great delivery that was heading on to hit middle stump plum leg before Russell Arnold he didn't even look at the umpire look at him celebrating already and that's when he saw the finger raised another good wicket for India Russell Arnold gone for eight and Sri Lanka tottering at 75 for seven Pull shot again, could be out, is out. Sachin Tendulkar has taken a very, very good catch. Inches off the ground, and the Indian supporters have gone berserk. The fielding from India today has been top-notch, and that's another fine example. Well, that's why we said the fielding against Kenya was just an off day for India, because generally the fielding standard has been pretty good for India with the last two seasons. But this is good bowling again. Surprised Amanda Was with a short pitch delivery. And Was had given every indication to the batsman if Bounces was going to go for it. Got into no position, a bit too quick on him, and it was also outside the off stump. So he had to drag it back onto the leg side. So Chaminda Was is gone. Another Sri Lankan wicket has fallen. The eighth one for 78. Three slips. And gone. There's another one. They are on fire today, India. This is outstanding stuff. They have not given Sri Lanka a sniff. Another one down, another one goes back towards the pavilion. The spectators are out of their seats and those flags are going berserk. That is the ninth wicket. Well, this is like a dream for India. I can't remember a better bowling performance. You're talking about a top-class batting opposition. And they're 78 for nine. What a delivery that is. And I think it's uh, Mohamed Kef who's taken the slip catch. So Nisanka is another batsman out for a duck. I think there are five of them, 78 for nine. Found the gap. Thread of the needle through extra cover, four runs. It's put away and that's going to go for four more. Just in front of square on the leg side. That's not going to improve your sense of humour. Might be out this time, should be out, is out, that's it, it's all over. India have been absolutely outstanding today. That is the end of Sri Lankan innings. They're all out for 109, Matai Murali Duran just throwing the bat at the end. But India have been outstanding. They win by 183 runs. And the first thing that the Indian captain does is runs all the way to Srinath, that deep fine leg. That's the first man he congratulates. Srinath, really, 4 for 35, 9 overs, was the man for me. They are getting 292. And Sri Lanka, of course, had batsmen who were capable of getting that score until Srinath came up with a great opening spell. And they got all top-class batsmen packing without scoring a run. So that was the match-winning performance for me. So there's a look back at the Sri Lanka batting, 109 all out. So they'll be very disappointed about that. There are only a couple of guys getting in double figures. Uh, Jay Surya with 12, Sangakara with uh, 30, Dilara Fernanda 13, and Matai Murli Durham with 16. But lots of noughts in that lineup, all out for 109 in 23 overs. And if you look at the Indian bowling, well, they only needed three bowlers. Zahir Kam was, was terrific with two for 33. And Jabba Galsrinath was outstanding with four for 35 off his uh, nine overs. He also picked up uh, the Man of the Match award. Ashish Nira, four for 35 off seven. So they were devastating. They bowled with pace, and they also bowled with fire. India, of the 50 overs, looking back at the day's play, sent into bat by uh, Sonath Jai Sriya, 292 for six. Tendulkar was electrifying with his 97, and so he played well for his 66, and the skipper chipped in as well. Matai Muli Duran pegged things back in the middle with three for 46. Vas continued his fine form, two for 34, and a silver picked up one in Sri Lanka. 109 all out with uh, Javagal Srinath, outstanding, four for 35. Same figures as Ashis Nira and Zahir Khan, two for 33. And India won by plenty. They won by 183 runs.